Hi, welcome back to Bow Action Bunker. Now, as you know, I've been doing some black powder stuff, so I've managed to get the first few figures painted, uh, and I'm working my way through them. So, being impatient as I am, I wanted to do some bases. So, um, this little video is going to be how I'm going to do my bases for the uh, Highland Regiment. So let's have a look at the figures. So, okay, so here are the figures. Uh, this is the command section. Uh, really pleased with these, how they came out. Uh, they're nice models, they're from Warlord Games. The black powder, these are the Scottish Highland Regiment. And I've painted them in the 92nd colours. Give them the flag. Um, so they look really nice. So all I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to base these. Uh, slightly new technique really for me, so it means a little bit of playing with. Uh, but yeah, let's get these done. And let's see how they come out. Really, really happy with them. Okay, so I've got my troops for uh, to start doing the bases. So I've glued them on uh, with these. Uh, with these, I'm using four guys on one on one base. So I've got some glue, and then all I'm going to do is just base these. Um, you know, use some sand or some grit, whatever you normally use. So let's just put the base on. Try not to go over all their boots. You're going to have to clear that up later. So just go round. Put this on. Now normally, uh, these some of these have got quite thick bases that they're on. Um, on the metal bases. So what I try and do, if they've got thick metal bases, just try and build up the glue a little bit. So I can put a little bit more ground cover, a bit more sand where I think it's going to need raising up. So let's just get these uh, all done. So again, <clears throat> this is the Highland Regiment, so these are the first ones. I've sort of started the video off <laughs> showing you the command section. I actually recorded quite a lot of it. Um, and then decided that I hadn't recorded it because the camera had turned off. <laughs> so, I missed a load of it. So that's why I'm now going back over with some troops. Right. So there we go, just get that covered in glue. So that's just standard PVA. I've not watered that down, it's just what it is. Now, um, the grit that I use, the sand that I use, this is uh, the sand out of the bottom of bird cages. So this is like um, a sand and small ground up shell. So you can buy this from pet stores all over the place. It's cheap. You can get, you know, a bag, a couple of kilo bag uh, for about two or three quid and you get lots and lots and lots of it. Right, so that's what I use. Just dip that in, get that covered. And uh, let's let that one dry. And then we'll do the same again to the other guys. Now, um, preparation for these, uh, to do these before I get to this stage, once I've glued them onto this base, I actually use um, a sealer for all the models. So um, I use the Citadel varnish which is a, a matte one so straight out of the can i give that a couple of blasts just to go over just to try and seal the paint in don't go too heavy on it so i already i've already done that to these guys um i can i do find as well that once you've put the sealer on once you've put the matte varnish on if uh, you have realised that you've missed any little bits, you can go back over it. It's not, it's not finished. It's not the end of the world, so that's not too bad. So there we go. Just put this on. Now with these guys on this base, I've noticed that I've bent one or two of the bases up a fraction, um, which is a little bit more off the main base. So. 
if that starts to show up once I've put the gravel on or your sand once you've put that on you can always once it's dried go back in again just dab a bit more glue down put a little bit more sand on there and just build up that area that you need to do so let's put these on now you know I like nice clean edges on my bases so just go around just give that a quick wipe knock that off there we go I'll let them dry <coughs> now also when I did the um, I don't know whether you've seen them in any of the other videos but I did um, some some cavalry the other day I wanted to make this side of the base slightly higher than this side so all I did there was coated half the base coated half the base in glue just put some sand on one side let that dry then go over the whole lot with uh, more sand as well so all that does is just gives you just a fraction higher one side than the other not that they seem it uh, yeah but that's what happened so look you can see a little bit here I'm short so I'm gonna have to go back over this one so uh, yeah not too bad they're coming along well and that was one of the ones that I've based um, whether you can see on that angle this side of the base is a fraction higher than this side so uh, yeah that's what I did there just sanded this side <coughs> Let it dry, then sand the whole lot, and let it all dry again. Right, so I'm going to stop that there for a second, let those dry, and uh, then we can move on to the next bit. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now our sand's dry on our bases. Let's start with just putting a coat of uh, brown on there. Now I use one of these uh, brown... Um, acrylic paints they're a couple of three quid I think these are uh, that's all I use you can pick these up from um, a lot of the shops I think Poundland was actually doing a range of them as well they were doing some I think they were slightly smaller so yeah keep your eyes out you can pick these up quite cheap and um, obviously you get a lot of coverage with these so that's that now all I'll use there is um, I've got a, a burnt umber which is quite a dark burnt umber really it's a brown more than anything else so I've just put a little bit of water with that just to mix that down just a little bit break that up uh, spread that out and then all I do is just completely cover just completely cover these bases with this brown uh, now I know some of you like a more lighter colour base so if you've got a colour that you like you know stick with it there we go so just go round completely cover all the sand and the grit that you've used give it a good coverage go right so I'm gonna get these done and um, I'll show you when I've done them okay so now we've got the bases uh, primed they've got their brown on them just let them dry now and then we can come back and um, finish them off right oh I'll see you in a bit Okay, so now we've uh, undercoated the uh, bases, so we've got the brown on there, so now we can start putting some dry brush on here now. So I've got them both done, they're both dry, so let's have a little look at just dry brushing these bases. Okay, so my dry brush, I'm using uh, a beige um, for this. And again you can go as light as you want but I'm just going to use this beige to start off with 
and go over uh, all the areas all the highlighted areas around the base uh, it's quite a thick dry brush really for this little bit and like I say if you can still see all your bases and they're all sort of really coming up through your sand or your grit you could put a little bit more grit on you know, before you start painting so let's just get these done That's it. It's not bad. I hope you can see all that. So I'll get the other one done we'll show you the next stage okay so for the next highlight we're going to go over the top I've got a pale sand so just an off-white again just dry brush on and then I'm going to go around pick up those highlights again on the edges There we go, not too heavy on this one. That's it. that one, on the next one, that doesn't take long, get these on, there we go, get that all round in there, just keep going till you're happy now with the pale sand <clears throat> because it's not white you can put a, an extra highlight on here of white just, uh, just to go around the last little bit just to pick up some of the really really top edges that you might want to get just on there just a little bit I'm not going to go mad just pick up some of the stones there we go so that's that one and then again on this one again just bring out that top highlight like that and um, because this is a complete new army I've got an option now I can try and base them all the same which is what I want to do I want to try and keep them all the same so um, I say there's a there's one we did earlier so, there's a little bit of card in there, a load of rubbish, there we go. Uh, so that was one we did earlier. So uh, now we've done our dry brushing, 
we can move on to the next bit. So I'll have a quick clear up here and move on. Right, so the next bit, I've got some watered down PVA. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to go in here and put some splodges of PVA down. Where I'm going to want the grass. So I'm just going to spread that out. A little bit here. Around there. Just there, give it a spin. Okay, so that one will do. Now for the grass that I use is the grass foam. So this one is uh, Jarvik Scenics. Jarvik Scenics. Um, grass, just the fine turf. That's the foam one. So just take some of this, sprinkle it on. There we go. Now with this fine turf, it is, seems to be very fine. So I've got some different blends, and this fine, this uh, one that I've got here seems to be really, really fine. It seems to be a lot finer than some of the others that I've got. So I just put a little bit on, pat some of it down, pack it in, make sure I've got good coverage with it. And then just knock that off. So then that's the first layer of our grass. That's our first layer on. Okay, so I'm going to do the other one. Give that chance to dry. And I'll do the other one. Okay, so now that's drying, um, we can start the next bit. So uh, that's what they that's what they look like now. So you can still see there's dry brushing on there, and um, I've left some patches dry brushed and some just normal grass on there, and the same on this one. So it's a bit patchy all the way round. That's what I, that's the, what I was looking for. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do now is uh, again with some watered down PVA um, I've got some light green turf and I'm going to just put a few little patches of light green on so I'm just going to go on again with the PVA so, uh, just take some a little sprinkle of the light green and let's put some light green on. Again, just take it easy, get that in there. So then we have a little patch of light green there. I hope that comes up on that camera. You can see that. That's one little patch there, and I'm going to do another one around the other side. Just there, not too big. Okay, and again, light green on. There we go. So now we've got just a couple of patches of light green building up the textures on our base. 
it's looking good so I'll do the other one and then I'll show you okay so they're the two bases with the two different colour grasses on now so we started off with a, a mid-tone green and then the light green so I'm not a great lover of the dark green so I'll stay away from it and that's how that one came out and uh, yeah pleased with that okay so next stage now we've got that on I've got some woodland scenics uh, clump foliage so this is light green clump foliage uh, you don't need loads of this just need a little bit of it just to make some bushes and um, what I'm going to do is dip it in the glue and I've got some tweezers somewhere, what did I do with them? There we go, okay, okay. So in the glue and then I'm going to just place some of this where I want it and again you don't need loads It's not sticking. There we go. Okay, so our two little bits, uh, three little bits of clump foliage in there. You can just about see that coming along nice. That's it. Let's have a little go of the other one, and I'll show you the results. Okay, so the next stage I'm going to put on um, some grass, grass tufts. So these ones are quite big, so but lucky enough you can just break these apart. If you've never used them before, it's a little little static grass with a little dub of uh, glue on the back of them. Um, you can just pull these apart. You haven't got to use them in one big piece, you can break them up if you want. So um, I glue mine down as well. So take our model again a little bit of glue where I'm going to want it and then use my tweezer just to put that in there just that one there that's quite big so I'm just I'm going to leave that like that and I'm going to put one more in the middle of there as well. There we go. Like that. And put that in there. Okay. So, let's have a little closer look at those. And the static grass is quite effective in there. It's not overpowering. And I think the foam grass gives it a nice finish as well. I'm really liking uh, working with that. So yeah, so that's really come along. They're really nice. So, um, I'll let them dry and put them with the rest of the guys that I've done. So, that's doing my bases, um, take your time, build them up gradually, bring up the different colours, 
and uh, yeah they look really really effective really nice quick and easy so uh, that's how I base my figures so thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one and I'll put some uh, I'll put a couple of photos up as well I think there we go that's lovely see you soon